Hello there guys, this is Solid Shepherd bringing you another video. And today I'm just gonna make this really quick video because I just got done with work and I just saw that Skyrim was trying to update. I've been working on a video because I've kind of gotten back into Skyrim modding. But then of course I find out right when I'm coming back into trying to do it again, Bethesda's releasing another version of Skyrim, so if you're on PC, it's going to basically update your special edition and ruin your entire load order. For those who don't know, your load order is your mods. It's your mod list. It looks like there is an up- I don't know if this is the update, but they are starting to update it. So I want to get this video out real quick to let people know to be careful if they care about modding Skyrim. We don't know how long it's going to take for modders to figure this out. And some mods that have been kind of disbanded won't get updated at all and will never work again. So if you want to keep your special edition and your beloved load order and all your mods that come with it, that's why I kind of want to make this really, really quick video. I have a more in-depth kind of like layman's terms modding for dummies coming out. It's going to be a lot longer of a video, but this is just really quick because I just wanted to make this video to warn and help people get this figured out as fast as possible so they don't accidentally ruin their Skyrim. Just real quick before we go further, on this channel we cover gaming news, gaming theories, and gaming discussion. If that sounds like the kind of content you're interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Back to the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create this backup right here. You want to create a backup folder to your Skyrim. And so basically the way you're going to do that is you're going to open up your folder. And you want to go to your this PC. The easiest way is just to click any of your folders and then go to Windows, your C drive. This is this should be where your Steam automatically is installed if you didn't put it somewhere specific. You're going to come down here and get to your Steam folder, and then you want to go to Steam Apps. You want to go to Common, and here's where your games are going to be. Now to make a backup, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy your Skyrim Special Edition, and then you're going to go back to your This PC. You're going to go to Desktop, and then you're just going to paste it right in here. Okay, so once that's finished, you're going to have the Skyrim Special Edition folder right here. As you can see, I already have my own backup. I'm just going through this process to show you. So the next step you're going to want to do is you want to create a new folder. You can call it whatever you want to, as long as you know what it's for. And I'm about to show you what it's for. So in our backup folder right here, there's going to be this file called steam underscore api 64dll You want to move that into that folder that we just made. So you can either drag and drop it or you can copy and paste it over here. Since I copy and pasted it, I need to go back in our little backup folder we just made, and I need to delete it. So here's why we did that. This file is basically what connects the application to Steam. So if you remove it, it can't update it, but it also can't play it, because it needs to use this to check basically that you have the permissions from Steam to play the game, since we bought it from Steam. Without this, you can't run the game. But the reason why we removed it from the backup, when we go to upload our main Skyrim file, you want to basically make sure there's no chance that Steam is going to reach out to the backup file and change it too. So you want all these folders to stay the same. Because I'm about to show you how to stop it from being able to update. But before we get to that, if an accident does happen, and it does update the main file, we want to make sure this version the backup is not compromised. So all these files in here are safe now, and if the worst happens and you ever need to use the backup file to revert it back to the version of the game that you want for your mods and all that, you just go into your folder here and you can just copy and paste or drag and drop this back into your backup folder and then replace all the new files from the update to revert it back to the old files. But when you're not using it, you don't want this in your backup folder just so you can make sure Steam doesn't have any kind of connection to that folder. Okay, so when that's all finished, we're going to go back to this PC. We're going to go back to the C drive. So what I'm about to show you is how we can guarantee Steam can't update the game. So we're going to go into Program Files, wherever your Steam is. It should be x86. Now the number after the x might change for you depending on your computer, but it's going to be in this folder, like we said before. So you're going to go down here, we're going to go back to Steam. All right, we're going to go to Steam Apps. Now this is very simple. This is what y'all came here for. So down here we have the app manifests, these .acf files. You see a number. These are attached to different games. These are basically the library. This is what Steam uses to initiate their updates. Skyrim Special Edition's code is 489830. This is the Skyrim Special Edition one. So you want to find app manifest underscore 489830. 
489830.acf. You just want to right click it. You want to go to properties. And for you, it's going to look like this when you first open it. You want to go ahead and click read only. Make sure you get that check mark in the read only. And you want to hit apply. And then OK. That's all you got to do. So what that's going to do, because if we go to these other ones, as you can see, none of the others are read only. So that means that when Steam tries to go update the game and make changes to this file, it's going to run into read only. It won't be able to update it. So we can go over here. You see, it wants to update. It wants to, I stopped the update from happening, but it'll either say update or resume when you try to do it. See, it gets an error. It can't do it. It won't update, which means you can't run the game from Steam. So I had to turn off my XSplit broadcasting software and turn on the NVIDIA Shadow Play so I can record this for you. So I can show you that it indeed does work. So I'm just going to play it. I'll go back to Steam, show you it's still not loading because of the read only that we applied on that file for a special edition. And then I'll show you going over to the mod manager and running the game and showing you it indeed works fine and that it does not update.